The Brainerd Parks and Recreation Department is considering adding a splash pad to one of its city parks. A splash pad is a water feature that includes both groundwater sprouts and ground fountains. Our Chelsea Brown sat in on a public forum hosted by the Parks, Rec and, Parks and Rec Board, allowing community members to give their feedback on this potential idea coming to Brainerd. Water, electricity, restrooms, and parking were the key necessities the Brainerd Parks and Recreation Department discussed when deciding between three parks that would fit the needs of a new splash pad in Brainerd. Lum Park, uh, the areas that had level ground, there's a disc golf course going right through there. So we kind of got that out of there because um, we, we have so many people playing disc golf and it's spread throughout the park. Um, we also looked at Kiwanis. Um, that had all the entities we needed, but it just flat out didn't have enough space for a, a splash pad. But in the end, they believe Gregory Park is the best location. There's a water source. It's got electric because, again, of the fountain. The restrooms are there um, right in the center of the park. Most of the community members who attended the meeting were all in favor of adding a splash pad to Brainerd. Their main concern was the location being located on the southeast corner of Gregory Park. I think uh, anything we can do for uh, the city of Brainerd to make it a destination, to have people come to Brainerd and say they got something really cool there, let's go there. I think that's a great idea. I am all in favor of the splash pad, 100% behind it, not in favor of the location so much. Um, the parking is a concern for me, the bathroom facilities are a concern for me. I went to St. Francis and if the kids there, if some of them are going to be walking home and there's going to be cars driving by, or even at um, Discovery Woods, the new school that's been there. I don't want those kids to get hurt at all because of cars driving by. Others, however, were in favor of the location, but concerned with other certain aspects of the project. After the fundraisers are gone and the park is there and operating, this will still be here 20 years from now, potentially. And that's, I would say that is my one concern, is who pays for the equipment to be replaced, upgraded, torn out, demoed, redone. We don't know what happens with that water. When it goes through, does it dump and collect for irrigation somewhere else in the park? Or does it just kind of hopefully settle down into the earth without causing erosion? The city has not yet decided on the size of the splash pad, but have said that the funding will be completely raised through donations and grants by the rebuilding Brainerd Community Group. Their goal is to have the splash pad open by the summer of 2018. In Brainerd, Chelsea Brown, Lakeland News. The average size of a splash pad ranges from 1,800 to 2,700 square feet. The Brainerd Parks and Recs Department has teamed up with the Initiative Foundation to help raise their starting goal of $300,000. The Parks and Rec Board plans to revisit and discuss the feedback from community members and the location of the splash in their next meeting, which is set for Tuesday, July 26th. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.